Hi, I'm Danny Boom, and welcome to Recipe Rehab, sponsored by Everyday Health. On this week's episode, the Stevens family loves Grandpa's grilled stuffed pork recipe. Okay, who wants to make some grilled stuffed pork? I do. I do. Yeah, that's a good-looking chorizo there. Yes, it is. This is going to be the best stuffed pork ever. Well, that's that's a, a lot of salt and sugar. But with more than 1,800 calories and a mountain of salt, this family dish needs a major health makeover. We basically take a pork loin, stuff it with chorizo sausage, wrap it in bacon, and then we grill it. That is a lot of grease in there. <laughs> My grandpa has high cholesterol and heart problems, so we need to find a healthier stuffed pork. Please rehab our stuffed pork recipe. Our two chefs will battle it out to see who can rehab the Stevens recipe and make it more nutritious. I'm going to cut down the sodium, the fat, and saturated fat by over 95%. Without sacrificing any of the flavor. We're going to add a little bit of tomato paste inside to give it even more flavor. The Stevens will then cook the rehab recipes in their own kitchen. Oh, my God! Another recipe rehab lesson! Our chefs will be judged on taste, health, and ease. Yeah. Which recipe will flop? No. And which recipe will rise? Mm. Very tender. Very tender. It's actually it's very good. And who will become recipe rehab champion? Well, do you think we can agree on a winner? And now let's meet the groovy gourmets who will throw down today. At the green station, let's meet the lovely chef Jaden Hare. And at the yellow station, it's the dapper and dubbinair, Chef Kelvin Harris. So you guys ready to see Grandpa's grilled stuffed pork? Let's do it. OK. Here it is. Ooh. I don't even know where to start on this. It's pretty crazy. It's so salty, I can't even feel my tongue. Wow. It's just a little bit of sodium there, buddy. <laughs> to be salivating for a few well, days Let's here. look at the stats. It has an astonishing 9,903 milligrams of sodium. My I heart mean, hurts. That's four times the amount anyone should consume in a day. So we're going to put 45 minutes on the clock. Are you ready? Ready. Are you set? Absolutely. Let's rehab that recipe. Our chefs are going to be judged in three categories. The Stevens family will judge the dishes on taste and ease of preparation. And the everyday health nutritionists will give each recipe a score for health. OK, Chef Calvin, what's the plan of attack here? Instead of using pork, I'm going to actually use a stuffed turkey breast. I'm going to stuff it with hot Italian turkey sausage. Wow. I'm going to cut down the sodium, the fat, and saturated fat by over 95%. That's incredible. Well, good luck with that. Thank you, sir. So over here, let's see what Chef Jaden's up to. I have a plan. You have the lady with a plan. <laughs> I'm using pork tenderloin, and I'm going to stuff it instead of chorizo. We're going to use prosciutto. Oh, beautiful. So this has got less fat, it's oh, thinner much. slice. With the same type of smokiness. And we're going to add a little bit of tomato paste inside to give it even more flavor. I'm cutting the fat, saturated fat, and sodium by more than 90%. Wow. And what did you put in the oven? Well, I just, I'm going to roast some peppers. They're going to add great vitamins and get more nutrients to the dish. And this is in the stuffing, right? Absolutely. It's going to be a piece of art by the time I finish it. I'm going to recreate that chorizo-style flavor profile that they have in there. I'm just going to make it in a healthier way. So the family's dish has one pound of chorizo on the inside, and they wrap it with another pound of bacon. Instead, we're using four slices of prosciutto, and it has a ton of flavor. So, Chef Calvin, this is your stuffing you're cooking away yes. here right now. This is the turkey sausage with a little bit of garlic, a little bit of onions, and smoked paprika. I added some spinach to make it more healthy, and now I'm going to add my four cheese blend. It's going to bind it and also give it some great flavor. And now I'm going to add three tablespoons of whole wheat panko. Wow, that's amazing. So then that is all going to go into your turkey breast. That's correct. Look what Chef Jaden's doing right now. I am tying this baby up so that the stuffing doesn't fall out. The easiest way to do it is to have short string just like this, mm -hmm. lay it down, and just tie it up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grill it to get some nice crusty crust on it before we put it into the oven. OK, guys, we're almost at the halfway mark. Chef Jaden is using pork loin and stuffing the pork with only four slices of prosciutto. Chef Calvin is using turkey instead of pork loin, and he's using turkey sausage in the place of the chorizo sausage. It's a bold move, but will it backfire? 
We'll find out soon, but first it's time for a recipe rehab pop quiz question. Which of the following can increase risk of heart disease, stroke and diabetes? Is it A, drinking too much milk, B, being overweight, C, exercising regularly, or D, eating vegetable oils? The answer when we return to Recipe Rehab. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Recipe Rehab. Before the break, we asked you which of the following can increase risk of heart disease, stroke and diabetes. Is it A, drinking too much milk, B, being overweight, C, exercising regularly, or D, eating vegetable oils? The answer is B, carrying too much weight. Maintaining a healthy weight can help you look and feel great and can reduce your risk of certain diseases. To get to and maintain a healthy weight, make healthy food choices and be active every day. Now let's get back to the action. With less than 20 minutes to go, Chef Jaden and Chef Calvin are in an intense battle to see who can completely rehab this delicious but fatty grilled stuffed pork. Chef Jaden has decided to lose the trees, though, and the bacon. Meanwhile, Chef Calvin is using turkey and turkey sausage instead of pork. Now, which one will make all the right moves and win this competition? Chef Calvin, your peppers are roasting beautifully there. Are they done? They are ready to go. So what are you going to do with them now? And I'm going to put them into a bowl and cover them up with plastic because I want to steam them. Then I'm going to remove the skin. Chef Jaden, what's going to happen now? So now that I've seared the outside, I'm going to stick this into the oven for about 20 minutes. Why do you sear? Tell me that. To give it a lot of more flavor because when the meat sears with the hot pan, it forms a nice crust and that caramelization is flavor. All right, so what we got going on here? I am pounding my turkey. Wow. I have to flatten it out so that I can evenly stuff it and it can cook evenly. All right. So now I'm gonna take my roasted peppers. Ooh. Basically just stuff them inside there like so, voila. So there goes your stuffing. It's beautiful. What's going to happen next? Well, I am going to grill the tomatoes to make a warm tomato salsa to put on top of that roasted pork. Just a little bit of olive oil and let them grill and soften. It brings out the sweetness in the tomato. And I'm using a potato masher because I'm going to mash this up. Ooh. Yeah. And to this, I'm going to add some garlic. Beautiful. And a little squeeze of lemon to brighten up the flavors. Basil and salt. That's beautiful. So, Chef Calvin, you're putting all these spices and herbs over yep. this loin. And is it now going in the oven? It is getting ready to go into the oven. If you like what you see here today, be sure to catch the first season of Recipe Rehab on YouTube. All you got to do is search Recipe Rehab. All right, Chef Calvin, the turkey is in the oven now. What's next? Now I'm making my roasted red pepper coulis sauce. Right on, a coulis. Just a puree of roasted red pepper, basically. I use low-sodium chicken stock with the roasted red peppers that you saw me do, and a little bit of garlic. Right on. So I see you've got something stuck in your pork. <laughs> well, I've hit the sweet spot. The sweet spot for pork is 145 degrees Fahrenheit. This is incredibly important because the worst thing you could do with pork is overcook it. Right. So I'm going to let it hang out for a bit, let the juices settle, and then we'll slice it. OK. All right, guys, we've got 30 seconds on the clock. Five, four, Three, two, one. That's it. Time's up and dishes are served. Wow. This has been a monumental rehab job, chefs. Next up, the Stevens family will recreate the recipes in their kitchen. And then they'll decide which of our two chefs has got the better eats. What happens next will determine who wins recipe rehab. So don't you go away. Welcome back to Recipe Rehab. Chef Jaden and Chef Calvin have worked wonders on the Stephen family's grilled stuffed pork dish. Now, we sent both the rehab recipes and all the ingredients they'll need to recreate the chef's new approaches on their dish. Let's see what they do with them. I want to 
to be on Grandma and Grandpa's team because they have more experience cooking it. Oh, yeah. I'll take Mommy and Cam. We're going to win. Yeah. Why don't you open up our box, Cam? I think we got some pork tenderloin. We got a turkey. We never I used that. that. I thought it's supposed to be pork. Tomato? Are we making a salad? <laughs> <laughs> Salad. Roasted peppers. Oh, I don't like spicy. Is this bacon? Here, that's yeah. prosciutto. You yeah. better look in there for the bacon. Hmm, where is the bacon? There's no bacon. There's no, There's no bacon. bacon. No, my life is over. I'm looking in the box and I see all these fresh ingredients. I see basil, I see tomatoes, everything but bacon, and a lot of ingredients that we don't use in ours. So I'm a little nervous to how this is gonna turn out, but I guess we'll have to see once we taste it. Well, let's get to cooking. Let's, let's get do cooking. It. Ours says to start with the onion. So first, we cut the onions and chop the garlic, and then we have to saute it. There's the garlic. All right, what's our recipe Rinse here? and pat dry the pork loin. Second step, we need to mix the salt and black pepper. In our family recipe, we use brown sugar, salt and pepper, or cayenne pepper, and this is just a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, so I'm worried it's not gonna have enough flavor. Spread the tomato paste over the pork with the back of a spoon. Grandpa, I'm coming over with the sausage. Well, I definitely am concerned that I won't like either of the items we cooked today because there's items in there that I ordinarily wouldn't eat and or cook with. So now we have to add other ingredients to this. Okay. Well, there's the stuffing mixture. Now put turkey breast on a long sheet of plastic wrap. Then the recipe says to add the prosciutto to the inside. There's only four slices going in here? We wrap ours with a whole pound of bacon. This is not a pound of bacon. <laughs> That's for sure, Cameron. We're going to season the turkey with the spice mixture. Lay strips of pepper evenly across the inside spinach mixture. We have to let Grandma do this because I'm not good at tying. We're going to add the tomatoes onto the pan. Be careful, the pan's hot. There you go. These nope. tomatoes are going to bake with the pork loin. Then we're going to add them to our sauce. All right. OK, so now it's time to sear our turkey. Got to get those nice grill marks on there. Well, we do have to make our sauce. Maybe we should get working on that. We put in olive oil, lemon juice, garlic, salt and pepper, paprika, and basil. OK, so to make the sauce, combine peppers, onions, garlic, and fresh thyme in a pot over medium heat. All right, time to get our tomatoes out. Oh, look at that. Ooh, that looks beautiful. Oh, it looks fantastic. Look. Can I smash them now? Oh, you guys, look at this nutritional comparison. In our family recipe, we have over 1,800 calories. In our green recipe, we have 226 per serving. That is shocking. <laughs> oh, my yeah, gosh. It is. Oh. We had 9,800 milligrams of sodium. And the one that we're making today has only 488. I have to say, that even amazes me. When I saw the amount of sodium and salt in the dish that I made, I was absolutely staggered. I had heart problems, and I do have high cholesterol, and therefore it's important that this recipe be healthier so that we can continue to pass this down. All right, these look great. I'm right. ready to try some of this. I am. All right, let's try it. Wow, it, doesn't this all look amazing? Look it at our hard work. It smells delicious. Oh, I it looks good. I can't it. tell which one looks better. First. Which one should we try I first, I think Kimmy? we should ta try the green one. The first. green one. All right. Mm. Mm. Very good. Mm. Mm. It's not quite as spicy as ours, that's for sure. You can really taste the lemon in the sauce. Ooh, you're right. It's very good. All, all right. right. I got a little bit of the prosciutto. Mm. It's very good. I like the mm, sauce. The prosciutto mm -hmm. tastes like bacon. All right. All right. I really enjoyed the texture of the pork. It was really tender, and the tomato sauce was a little overpowering. The tomato kind of just took over. The tomato sauce was 
a little just too tomatoey. I would have added more spices. I like the flavor of the pork. I, I enjoyed it. Okay, why don't we try the yellow dish? Yeah, Good idea. let's try it. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's having a nice flavor. Good flavor. Mmm, very tender. So delicious. Mm. The spinach is surprisingly good. What do you think, Cam? The pizza sauce was a little too spicy. Ooh, spicy. It was a little spicy, I agree with Cameron. I, I thought the spice was good. I thought the turkey was moist. I thought it was very comparable to the pork. The uh, surprising fact is that it's turkey. Yeah, the turkey was surprisingly good in, right. in changing up the recipe, and it'll be a lot healthier for us. It's a toss-up between the two. I, I like them both. It's time to judge, right? Well, do you think we can agree on a winner? Yeah. I hope so. <laughs> well, it looks like they all had a lot of fun in the kitchen. Now, in just moments, the Stevens will deliver the final verdict. Which one of our intrepid chefs will win the title of Recipe Rehab Champion? Now, we're back after this, so don't go away. Welcome back to Recipe Rehab. It's decision time. Chef Jaden and Chef Calvin have done a magnificent job making over Grandpa's stuffed pork recipe. Now it's time to find out who's today's winner. Now, our chefs are going to be judged in three categories. It will be up to the Stevens family to judge the dishes on taste and ease of preparation, and the everyday health nutritionist will give each recipe a score for health. So there are 10 points per category, so we're looking for a perfect score of 30. All right? So, chefs, are you ready to see your scores? I'm yes. ready. All right, so let's take a look and see how Chef Calvin did. For the yellow recipe for taste, we thought the turkey had a lot of flavor, but my brother, grandma, and I thought the stuffing was a little too spicy. So we gave it a nine. For health, the everyday health nutritionist gave it a perfect 10. The Everyday Health Nutritionist gave Chef Calvin a perfect 10 for health. They especially loved how he reduced the calories by 85%. He also brought the sodium, fat, and saturated fat way down by 95%. What do you think about your score? I'm ecstatic about it. I think it's fantastic. OK. Well, let's see what the Stevens gave Chef Calvin for ease of preparation. For ease of preparation, the yellow recipe had a lot of steps and we had to dice and chop a lot of things. We had to saute the vegetables and puree it. So that is why we gave it an 8 out of 10. So that's a total of 27 points for the yellow recipe. How do you feel about that? I think it's a great score. I think she's going to have a little trouble beating 27. Well, the game is afoot. OK, then, Chef Jaden, 27 is the score to beat. So let's find out what the Stevens family gave Chef Jaden. For the green recipe for taste. We thought the pork was really tender, but we wished that it had a little more flavor. But we loved the prosciutto in the middle, so that is why we gave it a 9 out of 10. For health, the Everyday Health Nutritionists gave it a perfect 10. The Everyday Health Nutritionist gave Chef Jaden a perfect 10 for health. She cut the calories by more than 85% and cut the sodium, fat, and saturated fat by more than 90%. What you're going to need now is a 9 or better to win the whole thing. So let's see what the Stevens gave you for ease of preparation. For ease of preparation, it was super simple, and even my little brother helped with it. So that is why we gave it a perfect 10. The green recipe's total score is 29. So that means the green recipe wins. <laughs> Chef Jaden is the grilled stuffed pork recipe rehab champion. <laughs> Congratulations. Right. Thank you so much. How do you feel? I'm so excited. I'm shaking. Good job. Congrats. Thank you. That's what I like to see. OK, now we've learned so much from our chefs today. They gave us some brand new ways to make great tasting food healthier. If you're looking for more healthy cooking tips, tricks, and some new recipes, you can always find them at recipeRehab.com slash TV show. Join us next time when we continue the fight to slash the fat, cut the calories, and rehab another recipe. We'll see you soon. <laughs>